1979, many of Britain's cities were in turmoil. There was rising unemployment, the winter of discontent and growing racial tensions. Many bands at the time drew on their own personal experiences. In Coventry, two bands doing just that were the Specials and the Selector, who went on to form the iconic two-tone label. Since 1979, many of Britain's towns and cities have undergone extensive regeneration. Coventry, like many places, has new, vibrant and exciting areas, but sometimes at the expense of losing some historic buildings. Determined that the birthplace of two tones should not be lost, journalist and two-tone fanatic Pete Chambers has recently completed his two-tone trail. This short film will guide you around the city of Coventry to pinpoint some places of significance in the birth of the two-tone movement, which played as much a part in racial harmony as any political policy at the time. Start your journey at the University Student Union Building. This used to be Lanchester Poly and is where Jerry Damas met Horace Panter. Pauline Black also studied here. The specials went on to play here in September 1980 and returned to film the Rat Race video in the sports hall. You plan your conversation to press the college bar. Just talking about your mother, and that is Jaguar. Wear your political t shirt and sacred college scar. Just touch on the world situation. A short walk down the hill and past the Britannia Hotel will take you to the Coventry Stars. A few two-tone names are marked here. Head out down Raglan Street until you come to Payne's Lane. The Binley Oak is here and is where Pauline Black first became a member of the Selector. A walk around the Ring Road will take you to the Canal Basin. It's been redeveloped now, but was the location of a photo shoot in 1979, producing iconic images that would be used on both specials albums. A walk around Corporation Street will take you to Hollyhead Road. This was the Hollyhead Youth Club and is where the lads would meet up who would go on to become members of the Specials and the Selector. A young Never Staple first met the others here and the disused basement club is still as it was over 25 years ago. A little further around Corporation Street and you will come to the City Arcade. Virgin Records was here and is where young John Bradbury worked. Pete Waterman had an office above and would become the first specials manager. Carry on walking and you'll arrive at the lower precinct. Mr George Nightclub was here and the specials played a residency here under their early name of the Automatics. Mr. George is now a discount store. A little further along you will come to the Locarno, a club that some of the band frequented. It became Tiffany's and just about every two-tone band played here. It is now the library. A walk along Warwick Road will take you to the site of Horizon Studios. Most of the selectors work was done here and some are bad banners. The specials gangsters were recorded here too.
Sadly, the building no longer exists, but a plaque is housed in the Rocket Pub opposite. A short walk along Westminster Road will bring you to Albany Road. Our final stop is number 51 and possibly the holy grail for two-tone fans. The front bedroom flat became the HQ of two-tone records and was featured heavily in a BBC documentary aired on the 3rd of March 1980. At last, a chance to meet the board of directors of the fastest growing independent record label in the country. <laughs> I think this is our Burnley Road contract. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, and this is the uh, wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> All second-hand gear, very nice too. Nice piece of mohair. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, uh, this is the original of one of the ones that we do. Come on. 